Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Hi everyone, I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Brandon Woolley in a clean sweep right now on our double Doppler 2. And you know what? We're not expecting any rain showers or thunderstorms in our forecast over the next several days. So this great weather is going to continue, though the humidity is going to come back in some form or fashion, especially by Labor Day and also on Tuesday. But a great looking dew point right now, a gorgeous afternoon, 59 degrees. The surface temperature at 85 degrees, the relative humidity at 41% and light winds all less than about 10 miles per hour. Mostly sunny skies right now and mostly clear skies in our forecast tonight. Down to street level we go in Owasso. Our viewers there are enjoying 83 degrees and wonderful looking barbecue weather, of course, over the next few days. Temperatures now across the region. For the most part, everybody is into the 80s. Prior in the Salina area, 86 degrees. Coffeeville in Kansas, 84. Okmulgee at 85 and into the lower 80s in Muskogee, coming in at 83 degrees here at the 6 o'clock hour. The official daytime high today at the Tulsa International Airport was 86 degrees, but that crisp overnight low of 59 reminding us that, yes, fall is just around the corner. The average for this time of year coming in at 89 and 67. So here's the radar and satellite across the country tonight. This is post tropical cyclone Hermine. You can see it spinning right there. All of the rain and the cloud cover. It's going to actually just hang off the coast over the next several days, especially just to the east of Long Island and Cape Cod. And of course, Hurricane Lester, a stronger storm just to the northeast of the Hawaiian Island chain. It's going to actually continue to move off towards the northwest over the next couple of days. Max Maximum sustained winds at 85 miles per hour, and again, it's going to weaken into a tropical storm. Now, unfortunately, the dew points will be rising over the next couple of days across eastern Oklahoma. So the dew points tomorrow on your Sunday by the afternoon, anywhere from the low to the mid 60s, and then by Monday itself from the mid 60s to right around 70 degrees. So the mugginess is coming back to our forecast across green country and eventually those high temperatures pushing up into the 90s all over again. But overnight tonight, it's going to feel good out there with those overnight lows pushing down into the 60s. Talala at 62 degrees, southeasterly winds still light between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. Mostly clear skies tonight, Shakota at 63 degrees, Okmulgee at 64, southeasterly winds between about 5 and 10. McAllister falls off to about 65, easterly winds between about 5 and 10, and mostly clear skies. Here's your Sunday forecast, a bright looking morning, 63 degrees at 8, mostly sunny skies at noon, 80 degrees, a bit warmer by a few degrees for tomorrow afternoon in Tulsa at 88 degrees. Bartlesville at 88 also, also into the upper 80s around Coffeeville. We have Vanita at 87, southerly winds increasing, so a little bit stronger by tomorrow afternoon between about 10 and 15 miles per hour. A mixture of clouds and sunshine, Tahlequah comes in at 87, Shakota into the upper upper 80s also into the 80s. You can see right there around McAllister, Eufaula at 89 south winds in the afternoon between about 5 and 10. Here's a look at your latest seven day forecast. Labor Day itself, mostly sunny skies warmer at 93 degrees south winds between about 10 and 15. More clouds on the way for Tuesday, 92 degrees and still into the 90s on your latest extended forecast and an increasing chance for rain showers and thunderstorms Thursday, Friday and Saturday.